Hello and welcome to Central Ohio Heaters. We wanted to take a video here for our customers on how the fan limit control works. This here is a Honeywell fan limit control. It has the push pull button on it, the little white button. It goes in and out. Underneath the cover, you'll find a calibration line. I have it marked here with a yellow crayon paint marker. It's just a little chisel line right there in the edge of that black rib right there. That's your calibration line for your base calibration. And if you'll notice here, this, this temperature clock turns. There's numbers on the clock there. 50, 100, 150, 250. That should be within 10 degrees of shop temperature before the unit ever starts. When the unit's cold, the shop's cold, say 50 degrees, this thing should be within 10 degrees of 50. Uh, if it's more, uh, if it's off further than that, replace the control. Now you'll find right here it says fan off. That's where this one here, the first uh, slide control adjustment, that's where it turns the fan off. The next one up here is the fan on control, where it turns the fan on. Off at 100 on at 130 on most waste oil furnaces that this here clock starts rotating when the unit warms up on and off it'll stay on there all day until the unit cools down then it turns the fan off as long as it needs to run that's fine if for some reason the fan doesn't start this thing comes up here in the third adjuster thing here goes past the calibration line that shuts the burner power off to prevent uh, an overheat condition to prevent a fire shuts all the power of the burner off on most waste oil furnaces that's the Honeywell fan limit control the white Rogers is very similar it has a slide lever on it manual and automatic made by white Rogers so another good fan limit control they both work very well on this one here, you, you have the, the same type of a temperature clock here that turns and three dials, or three adjusters. Now your calibration line on this one is this plastic pin where the lever pivots, right here. This, this, this lever pivots back and forth. That plastic pin is your calibration line and that again needs to be within 10 degrees of shop temperature. It's 50 degrees in the shop here, and we're right on 50 there. That's great. Sometimes these things get way off, and they won't work right if the base calibration is not right. Now here you have fan off at 100, fan on at 130 approximately on most waste oil furnaces, and then over here you have limit off at 200 there again when this thing warms up it turns the fan on and off that slide lever needs to be over for it to work properly so it doesn't run the fan all the time don't force these controls they're a delicate control once you get the shop up and warmed up and this thing gets up to say 150 degrees or 180 degrees you can gently rotate this just a little bit so as not to bend it or twist it and your burner should die if your burner does not die there's something not wired properly on your furnace or your controls not working I have already seen under a short circuit condition where it's possible to weld the points together inside of these these switches here in any any one of these controls you don't want to short circuit the burner or, or short circuit some wires together and blow the breaker because these these can uh, you can weld these points together in any one of these here uh, fan limit controls and that if them points are welded together that will bypass your safety control so if you ever if you ever blow the breaker be sure you check this here overheat condition as after the furnace warms up to make sure that the overheat function still shuts the burner down when the units say 150 rotated up to 200 or more 
on most waste oil furnaces and make sure just that it shuts the burner off. Thanks for watching and uh, let us know if you need any parts, burners, furnaces, we can fix you up. CentralOhioHeaters.com, there's a big technical help page, let us know. CentralOhioHeaters.com, thanks for watching.